500 stole the France couldn't be just like any other. The organizers concocted a start in the Isle of Beauty, Corsica, that had never been done before. Its roads were thought to be too narrow, too dangerous, so said the opponents to this premiere. However, for three days, Corsica proved the world it was worth its nickname. There was no need for a photo finish in Bastia. The first stage was troubled by a crash five kilometers from the finish line. The turmoil shook the riders, the peloton is reduced to 50 men and Marcel Kittel raises his arms. He is the first to wear the yellow jersey this year. The sprinters are not the only center of attention. Jan Beckelon steered their thunder in Ajaxio. The Belgian produced his effort in the last section of the stage to surprise Peter Sagan. Slovakia's champion was frustrated again in the following day in Calvi, finishing second for the second day in a row. The sprinters had cracked. Simon Gerrans kept the dessert to himself, while Peter Sagan got comfort in getting the green jersey. After a mouth-watering weekend in Corsica, the tour gets back on the continent for a general overview of the powers at play. The team time trial in Nice, it's often a decider, in all cases an impressive display. But in Nice, none of the favorite teams dominated. The best on the promenade des Anglais were Australians, the team Orica Greenwich. With a 58 km per hour average speed, they also propelled their leader, Simon Gerrans, at the top of the GC. The sprinters were starving. The next three stages will give them a chance to grab a bite. First of them, Mark Cavendish took his 24th Tour de France stage win in Marseille. The Manx missile was defeated in Montpellier by André Grapel of Lotto Bellesol. Both were outsprinted the following day in the stage to Albi as Peter Sagan finally grabbed his own stage success of the 2013 Tour. There was no curse or stroke of bad luck. While the sprinters struggled for the green jersey, another one took advantage of a 13th position of the Montpellier stage to take the yellow jersey to his teammate Simon Gerrans, it's South Africa's Darrell Impey. He is the first African to lead the great race. He was also born in Africa but in Kenya, yet he is British. Favorite of the bookies and the experts, Christopher Froome didn't wait long to confirm the expectations. In the first mountain stage, he showed he was the boss. On the slopes towards Axe Trois de Men, the Team Sky leader left his rivals more than one minute to drift, a new era began. The man has to have a weakness somewhere between saint Giron and Bannière de Bigorre, Garmin and Movistar identified a target, the Team Sky teammates. Richie Port and his partners were attacked and dropped, but Froome resisted, not enough to prevent Don Martin to get the stage success after his effort in the Orquette d'Ancizan. The Irishman used to come watch the tour here as a child, he is the hero now.